So all that next-gen information has been finally released, people. Let's get it. Let's analyze this right now. The new, new little, nice little two-minute gameplay we got here. I'm gonna talk about it. And I'm gonna talk about these new features that 2K released. Okay. So apparently, 2K14 said this. It's not a port. You know, from the from the PS3 to the PS4, it's not a port. Built from the ground up. From this new engine called Eco Motion, which which a lot of you may have heard of from other from other sources, other commentators, whatever, right? So aside from the you know the, the graphics and, and and whatever, there's apparently new celebrations, hairstyles, facial hair, leg tattoos, all that, which is nice, nice addition. I like that. They say they're going to be focusing on four main areas of gameplay: NBA Today, my career, my team, and my GM. So my GM is going to replace the association mode. Assumingly, apparently NBA Today is where you can actually watch highlights of the real NBA, and it's going to be a whole new design. We haven't seen it yet, but apparently, you know, it's going to be like a menu, like a scoreboard with all games listed, which is pretty cool. So you won't even have to go on NBA.com, ESPN. You can watch it straight from your PS4, which is pretty exciting. Remember when I mentioned that the crowd looked much better in the in my other video explaining that last OMG trailer? Well, apparently they said that um, not only the crowd looks much better, there's less duplicates in the crowd, and the players on the bench, there's no warm-up outfits of the players on the bench. So, you know, the crowd, the players looking looking much better, you know, those little details. Another thing, look at the lighting. Just look at the lighting on the floor right now. LED lighting system, uh, you can see, you know, um, the reflections and everything. You can always see reflections, right? But now, um, the way they've changed the lighting, and the way it reflects on players' heads, the way it reflects on the floor, it's different, it's, it's, it's better. And to get the players' faces correct, you know what they did? Oh, 2K, you gotta love them for this one. You know what they did? They scanned the majority of players' faces. They scanned Kobe's head, they scanned LeBron's head, they scanned Iguodala's head, KD's head. They scanned hundreds, I'm, I'm assuming hundreds of players, nearly all the players in the league is what they said. Um, and got them to make expressions, like ex different facial expressions, to really capture their their emotion, right? And so they transferred that to the game, and I think that's brilliant. Okay, and I'm gonna show you a photo. I'm gonna show you a photo of this this guy. This guy looks like Shaq. It's a guy from Bleach Report, I believe, which is a news sports website. If you haven't heard of it, and he got his face scan. That's him. That's his image of what he would look like in the game, right? And that that looked real. That looked real. Um, and if you look at the top of his head, the only reason it's like that is because he was sitting too high up. Um, but aside from that, you know, you, you look closer, you can see, you know, he mentioned that he was wearing a, a, a tight-fitting cap and you can see the little crease on his forehead and that just, that's really, really nice. Gameplay, well, I assume it will play the same, right? They say it's a big, it's not a port over, but right now, I don't know, okay? People are saying it's going to play the similar way, but... It's gonna feel a lot different and make people think it's different because the way they change the foot planting, there's no like phantom steps, no sliding. You know, you slow down the game and sometimes, you know, you see players' hands go through each other. You see the, their feet sliding and that's a travel, there's no call, right? The ball actually rotates while you're dribbling, which is not in current gen, which is great. That's, that's such, that's what you should expect, right? And this, this stood out to me. Um, with anim it's called animation synthesis synthesis. Animations will change based on circumstances. If KD takes a shot and the D is guarding him tight, the animation will change on the fly. So the game has gotten that good where it can change on the fly. So I foul him, the animation is gonna be different, and it's gonna be different every time. They say a shooter won't land the same way two times. I, I doubt that. I really doubt that. But maybe there's subtle differences. Um, these animations will adapt to the situation. You gotta, we gotta see. We're only seeing like not even two minutes of gameplay. You can see. Remember in the OMG tray where you saw Kobe Bryant kind of like yelling at his teammates, directing them what to do on the bench. Now that translates to this new Emotion Plus system, which categorizes you know Kobe Bryant. He's like the, the alpha dog. He's he's the main guy. He's he's the leader. He wants the ball. And they say human emotions will translate into performance. Every player has personality highs. Highs are highs and lows are lows. So that's a new feature, and we'll see how that plays into the game. Because you know we can't get tech fouls, so it's not like 
it's, it's not like um, the emotion is going to play a real part in the actual outcome of the game. It's just a nice addition. New feature, my GM. Replacing association it looks much better. Like compared to come on, compared to current gen, where you're sitting in front of this generic looking guy. You know, you see this nice little office. They got the leather chairs. They got the nice suits. You know, they got the you know the lighting at the top. This is a nice. This is a nice room. This is realistic, right? The GM's gonna have this. This is what's NBA. There's there's fan interest. There's project projected profit. There's all these little details that I don't I don't know what to what to take in. I don't know what they mean. You know, Corey Maggetti, play for winner, somewhat important. Financial security, very important to him. Loyalty, somewhat. So, and happiness, and you can look at his player card, you know. They've gone into details with this mode. This good. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Let's go to my player and my career now. Over 40 hours of gameplay has been added, apparently, in the first year alone. Now, what do you mean by, like, gameplay? Like, I hear this, like, you mean, like, little cutscenes? Like, like of, our, of our my career player? I don't... They say thousands of cutscenes with actors and, and real life players. We haven't seen this, we haven't seen any gameplay, so I don't know what to expect. But it's in but it's enticing because now now you want to play all the games, right? People used to key games. Key games. Key game it, pardon me, right? Now you wanna play all the games. I'm gonna play all the games because I wanna see all these cutscenes. I wanna go through the 40 hours of gameplay and show you guys what it's like. Apparently you can you can also hang out. With your my career player, with your my player in this park, right? With hundreds of players, with hundreds of different players, hundreds of friends in this park. I guess it's like blacktop mode. You'll have maybe a dozen courts. You'll be walking around, chilling, and doing whatever, playing pickup, whatever. The only issue that I think is going to happen is the servers. 2K is notorious for not having good servers. I don't know how they're going to be able to sustain 100 players when they can't even go 1v1 in a. In, in, a, in an online match, in a ranked match, without it lagging sometimes. So they, they better upgrade their servers or do something. I don't know how the PS4's online is going to be, whether it's going to, you know, whether this next gen's a whole nother online experience, aside from graphically, they're going to need to have good servers, otherwise pff, it's not going to work. All in all, we finally, finally got some details on 2K14 for next gen. It's looking, it's looking nice, it's looking very good, it's looking, it's exciting, can't wait. It's about, I don't know, about a month away from the PS4 release. I live in Australia, so it's a little, a little later than the rest of the world. But, definitely gonna get my hands on this thing. Of course, no question about it. That's a silly statement I just made, of course I'm gonna get it. You know what, I'm done talking, that's it, I'm out. Prince out, thank you for watching.